email stands for electronic mail it is widely used mode of communication email communication is formal communication it is also informal communication and semi formal communication even if it's a formal informal or semi formal communication you will have to follow some do's and don'ts of email writing so this video will help you to know and understand which are the do's and don'ts of email writing Hey everyone welcome back once again by the end of this video you will be able to know a structure of email which are the do's and don'ts of email and how to write the email so make sure to watch the video till the end and if you're new to the channel then please do hit on subscription and bell icon emails are written for various reasons email can also be written to ask for uh, the sales of the good maybe to receipt for the good to generate the invoice these are some formal ways of writing the emails but at personal end also you can write the email uh, to your parents to your friends these are the informal way of writing the communication or reasons for writing the uh, email but the well written communication gives a clear and concise idea to the recipient so let's get started with the video to understand the format do's and don'ts of email writing in one of my video during resume writing i had mentioned that you should have a formal and professional email if you don't have a formal email then you can uh, generate it create it by using google first of all let us understand the format of email and which all are the sections are there any email will have four major sections number 1 is a subject line second one is the beginning or opening of the email third one is the main body of the email and fourth one is the closing of the email before going to those four key elements of email let us understand some terminologies which are used in email writing first one is the mail id of the sender sender is the person who sends the email like let's say for example if i want to write a thank you note to any vendor i am the sender so my mail id will be there on the top the second one comes is the recipient's mail id and it has to be written in two section it means two to whom you want to write the mail the second is a cc option cc option is the one uh, which stands for carbon copy like let's say for example if you want to send an email to your customer and you also want to mark a copy to your senior or a reporting boss so you can mark him a cc so the same copy of the email goes to the one to whom you are keeping in carbon copy the important point to remember here is that the one to whom you are marking in the carbon copy is visible to the recipient as well the third terminology which is used in the email is bcc bcc stands for blind carbon copy uh, which means the mail which you are sending to the recipient and if you want to mark the same copy to your senior or to the one to whom you want keep updated but the important point to remember here is that if you are marking someone in blind carbon copy that is bcc the recipient won't know that you have kept that person in the email in most of the cases to keep the secrecy of the communication generally the blind carbon copy is marked moving to the mail writing the first one is a subject line so when you are writing an email make sure that you have given a right subject line like let's say for example you want to write an email to the vendor about supply of certain goods so you can mention in the subject line that regarding the supply of goods on this this date and this this time the same credential you can also mention in the main body of the mail the second one is a opener so in the opener you will have to uh, write saying that dear sir or ma'am uh, i will recommend you to specify the name of the person like let's say for example uh, dear mr xyz or dear mr uh whatever the name of the recipient so i will suggest you to address the person by the name which shows that you have taken enough time and efforts to write and mention the name of the person but you'll also have to remember that if you're not sure about the name or about the correct spelling of the name then try to avoid it you can simply put dear sir or ma'am you'll also have to remember if you're not sure about the recipient's gender if the recipient is sir or ma'am then don't specify like dear sir or dear ma'am it may happen to the one to whom you have sent the mail may be a sir but you have written dear ma'am so it creates a negative impression about the candidate about 
the person who is sending the mail and also it shows that you are gender biased in the opener the second point you'll have to remember is greeting like greeting for the day or if you're writing the email on the behalf of some organization like let's say for example if i'm writing the email uh, to someone on behalf of our college so i'll uh, refer like greetings from mes garware college of commerce this gives a professional uh, touch to your email and the third part is a main body of the email where you'll have to write in detail about uh, what you are actually looking for or what the mail is all about while writing the main body you can uh, either write it in a paragraph but i'll suggest you to write it in a bullet point with little explanation and also don't forget to bold the important sentences or the words if you want the reader to uh, give attention to those words or the phrases or the lines Point number four is closing. Uh, the common way of closing the email is like thanks and regard and then your name. Uh, also, the Gmail has a facility or a feature where you can insert your signature. So these were some important points which you will have to remember when you are writing or when you are composing the email. The next part is some do's of writing the email. Point number one, do have a clear subject line. Because in multiple cases it happens that people forget to mention a right subject line. So have a concise subject line which should have a clear meaning. Point number two is to use the professional salutation. As I said use dear sir or if you are writing it to the senior or to a very uh, senior person then use respected or uh, honorable. But if you are writing to your customer you can write uh, dear sir, dear ma'am that will do. Point number three, do keep private material confidential. Uh, even if it's a written communication, uh, don't put all the confidential details or the files attached to the mail. It may happen that anybody can get an access to your email and the confidential uh, material or confidential documents can go into a public domain. So try to avoid attaching the confidential documents in the email. Point number four is know your audience. It is very essential to know to whom you want to address or to whom you are writing the email. If you are writing the email to a client, to a senior or to your junior. So make sure that uh, you are aware of the audience to whom you are writing the email. Point number five which is very important is to know the length of email. People have habit of writing uh, long emails or lengthy emails. So try to have a concise and brief email and build a habit of writing in minimum words. Minimum word it doesn't mean that you are just writing in uh, 10 to 5 lines. So it depends on the kind of description or the nature of mail which you are composing or which you are writing. So these were some do's. Uh, let us go to the last part of the video that is you'll also have to remember some don'ts of email writing. Point number one is don't use humor. People have habit of writing emails or any sort of writing. Uh, adding humor into it. Mostly email is a formal way of communication so try to avoid humor while writing the email. Point number second is don't send angry email. You'll have to remember not to send the angry email or frustration email. Point number three don't overuse exclamation. People have habit of writing email like all the contents or drafting in a capital letter or people uh, do mention like lol or you know smiley so it is always advised not to use uh, such exclamations when you're writing the email point number five and most important is don't forget to check the spelling and grammar of writing the email uh, in fact there are various tools which you can link with email which can automatically check and suggest you the correct spelling but you'll also have to take care of other typo errors when you're composing the mail which will create a negative image about an individual if you're sending the emails which may have a lot of incorrections or spelling errors or grammar errors so these were some steps do's and don'ts of email writing i'm sure you must have found this video useful and informative if so then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then that's it sandeep signing off thank you for your time